Okay. Well, welcome everybody. Thank you very much for being with us. It's it's a special day, not only as Sorin was mentioning before that Her Majesty the Queen celebrates her 95th birthday, but uh, it's about the International Day of um, Creativity and multidisciplinary thinking, if you believe so. So um, um, we are we have chosen this day as it celebrates um, uh, the truth and the creativity and thinking. And this is important for, for the world, especially through art, which seeks the truth. And I, I think um, art in conversation is, is looking to echo the voices of Romanian artists and to present to the world a coherent image of Romania through her most distinguished ambassadors the artists. Um, you know, coming here before you, I was talking to some of my friends about my presentation. And um, they said to me, um, don't try to be charming, to be witty or to be too intellectual. Just be yourself. <laughs> Thank you. So <laughs> you see, um, you know, I, I have to be very careful because I threw once a boomerang and uh, I live since in constant fear. So uh, if I do any mistakes, you just uh, bear with me. <laughs> anyway, I would like to, uh, to start introducing the program tonight. So um, first of all, we are gonna, um, uh, through Iwana, um, we are gonna put a, a little film uh, showcasing our artists and some of their works. And after that, I will, um, I will do a, um, a presentation of the speakers. Uh, they, we will have a number of speakers uh, talking to us. Some of them are indirect, uh, some of them are recorded. Um, and then uh, I would um, open a Q&A section for any uh, questions uh, people might have or uh, you know, suggestions uh, for the future. And I will tell a little bit about the future plans of Art in Conversation. Uh, I would like to do that not before uh, I would um, actually acknowledge uh, the, the great um, support that I had from Ioana, the, uh, the, um, the partner uh, of this project. Um, I would like to, to thank um, uh, Romanian Cultural Institute, Magda, for being kind to, uh, to help us and to support us. I would like to thank all of you, the artists and our ambassadors and representatives all around the world for your kind, um, you know, welcoming of this project and support. And also I would like to, to thank the Romanian Embassy for their support uh, with, uh, with this endeavor and our media partners such as the Romanian International uh, uh, National TV. And um, if, um, if it's all clear, I would like to ask uh, Ioana to uh, run that, uh, that little movie so we get into the spirit of, uh, of what we mean with Romanian artists and their beautiful, beautiful art. Thank you. Welcome. Art in Conversation is about sharing is about inspiring a relationship with art through direct conversation with artists. Our mission has two purposes. To promote Romanian artists and designers and to create a direct connection between artists and audiences across the world. vision is to encourage and inspire a prevailing relationship with art through direct conversation with artists.
We provide a platform for dialogue between Romanian artists and global audiences. Another purpose is to introduce and connect artists around the world with Romania and its cultural realm. Art in Conversation is also about opening perspectives into Romania and its rich and inspiring history, traditions, landscapes and vibrant culture. We are looking forward to introducing artists around the world to this space and invite them to connect and create in Romania for determined periods of time. Their works and hearts will carry the spirit of the Romanian lyrical universe wherever they are. We believe that the Romanian cultural space has a universality of expression which proves to be a binding factor between people and cultures around the world. Well, thank you, Iwana. It's, uh, it's marvelous. I feel privileged to be in the company of such wonderful, wonderful works of art and artists. And I truly, truly hope that um, they would reflect the spirit of what Romania has to offer. Uh, without further ado, I would uh, love to introduce our first uh, guest speaker, the director of the uh, Romanian Cultural Institute in London, uh, Magda Stroje, if you are so kind, Magda. Thank you, Kalin. Can you hear me? Very well, indeed. Thank you. A warm welcome to everyone joining us today for the launch of Art in Conversation, event which the Romanian Cultural Institute is delighted to support by hosting it on its digital channels. With its splendid design and attention to detail, the Art in Conversation digital platform makes it easy for international audiences to engage with a significant number of Romanian artists and designers. The brainchild of Kalin Huma, Romania's honorary consul in Southwest England, himself an accomplished composer very much at home in the artistic milieu, and of UK-based Romanian artist Ioana Nestorescu Balcești, the not-for-profit initiative aims to create a vibrant space of cultural dialogue between Romania and Britain, 
bringing to together creative minds in the two countries. It is a timely project as out of necessity. The public is becoming more at ease with digital spaces, creating new opportunities for exciting artists featured on the platform. I would like to congratulate the enthusiastic team working for Art in Conversation for the brilliant start they have made. I have every confidence that their determination will bring long lasting success to this generous idea. I will hand over now back to Colleen Huma, who will give you a more detailed presentation of the platform and to introduce the organization's ambassadors. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Magda. You've been very kind and your words indeed reflect uh, what we would like to do. Before asking our ambassadors to, um, to say a few words, I would like in just a, a minute to exemplify and to take further what Magda was, um, was saying. Art in Conversation uh, wants to support Romanian artists and um, wants to support them through um, taking them around the world, uh, starting with Britain, uh, of course. Our ambassadors for tonight have been carefully chosen such that they represent the next stops of, um, of Art in Conversation. And this would be uh, France, and then uh, we will go to, uh, uh, to America, and then to Korea, and, uh, and to Italy, of course, and hoping to take this wonderful artist and their works across the world. Art in Conversation um, is um, working um, to actually bring a lot of Romanian artists on, on its uh, platform. And uh, also uh, Art in Conversation would uh, not stop only at visual um, uh, art, but also it will, uh, it will bring literature and music uh, such that we create a round, a circle representing what, um, what Romania can and is. For me, as a honorary consul, I was always um, asked by people, uh, what about Romania? Tell me about it. And I found myself in difficulty because it's not easy to describe a country. But if you show art, if you show music, if, if people are, are watching this, this is a language so universal, so full of understanding and truth. Therefore, it opens the hearts and minds of people. And it's, it makes it much simpler to, for us to, to make the case of what Romania is and her message to the world. Because what I found since 25 years living in Britain is that um, we are not so different. There is a universality of our message of the Romanian artists, which is so profoundly correlated with the rest of the world. And this is exactly what I want to, um, to say. And this is exactly what I want to, um, uh, to show through the cases made by the Romanian artists and their art. Um, practically, we are going to work with uh, institutions uh, in, in the world. We are going to uh, work with, uh, with other artists that uh, are so kindly promoting um, art further and Romanian art. And last but not least, a very important part of our uh, intention is to open the Romanian space to British artists and further artists around the world um, to, uh, for short residences. They can come to Romania, they can paint, they can write, they can um, compose, and they can take back with them wherever they are coming, um, the spirit that Romania has to offer and a little bit of her lyrical universe. And uh, I will uh, later have, um, uh, you know, through the graces of uh, Michael Destircia, he's going to uh, talk to you a little bit about, uh, about that. Um, I would love to introduce our, our first uh, representative, ambassador in Korea, uh, an accomplished artist herself, photograph and painter, Mari Kalai. Uh, she lives in, uh, in America uh, now, uh, I think around uh, Washington DC, if I'm not uh, mistaken. And uh, it's a privilege to have you with us. Um, so can you please uh, tell us what you wanted to say? Thank you. Yes, 
Thank you so much, Colleen. Um, hello from the United States. Um, I'm Mari, and I'm so thrilled to be part of this project. Um, I'm a strong believer that culture is the soul of a nation and can be instrumental to intercultural relations. Art does not seek to persuade, but to show emotions instead. Through art such as photography, paintings, music, um, poetry, sculpture, and other forms of arts, we can uniquely communicate with each other regardless of our understanding of particular languages. For example, Constantin Brancuș, one of the most influential Romanian artists, who's also considered one of the most important sculptors of the 20th century, was able to pave the way for Romanian art to be showcased in the international arena. Through his work, people around the world were able to learn more about the richness of the Romanian culture. Mircea Eliade, a Romanian writer and historian, was one of the most influential scholars of the 20th century, who also successfully showcased Romanian culture to the world. Culture is a pillar of diplomacy, and arts especially play an essential role at fostering deep discourse between nations. From my personal experience as an artist, after living in the US, uh, Europe, and also Asia, I was able to experience so many different cultures with much curiosity and interest. Photography and painting, in particular, have been the easiest way for me to begin conversations and build a mutual cu cultural understanding uh, with people from other nations. Um, I'm very honored to be here as an artist and also as an ambassador for Washington DC and Seoul, South Korea. Thank you so much. Thank Aline. you very much. Thank you very much, Maria. It's uh, uh, very nice words, indeed, indeed. There is some legacy there, and there is some connection between Romania over centuries with the rest of the world. Before I, I would like to introduce the the next um, the next um, of our ambassador from Italy, Elena Piccione. It's a recorded message. Uh, she couldn't um, be uh, with us uh, delivering. She's this. she's here now. She's here, but yeah, uh, yeah. you know it, we we have recorded this message. Um, I would like to uh, to say hello to uh, a special uh, friend that's in the audience. It's uh, Marin, uh, Maria Stalin Andreasova and her accomplished, uh, you know, husband uh, Guillermo Esparza. Great, great artists and an accomplished composer. Thank you very much for being with us tonight, Maria. Uh, Your Excellency, thank you so much. I call you Colleen now, although you are officially no, please, your excellency. Please, no, I'm but not both of <laughs> us uh, were a great fan of, of your music. Your music is very inspiring. It's um, it's an incredible gift to the world. And my father was a very famous composer. And uh, I understand music from childhood. And what you're doing is amazing. So we're here with you all the way. Thank you very much indeed. Thank, thank you very you. much indeed. In and, spirit as well. In spirit, and also I wanted to thank the, um, the Romanian people and remind everybody that um, one of the greatest patriarchs of, um, of all Armenians and one of the greatest patriarchs in the history of the last 2000 years was Romanian Bucharest born Vazgen the first patriarch Catholicos of all Armenians in Hole Echmeadzin. He was there for 40 years during the Cold War. And he was a great fam family friend of the Stalin Andreasov family. Uh, you know, we were all born in Moscow um, uh, under great secrecy, of course, because of the, um, uh, the Russian Revolution and the, so forth. And uh, little by little, the information is coming out under my supervision. And uh, he was a great one of the most powerful man in human history, and he was Romanian, Armenian. Thank you very much. Very, very interesting. It shows again how interconnected we all are. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Joanna, can you uh, can you uh, can you put uh, um, yes, Elena? Sure. Elena is our representative and ambassador in Italy. She's an accomplished pianist herself. 
amazing, amazing pianist. I am truly delighted to take part in this project by supporting in Italy these talented artists who, even in times of continuous challenges and dramatic changes like those we are all experiencing, keep nourishing and uplifting our soul and spirit with their work. Well, thank you very much, Elena. That was so sweet of you. And thank you for the endeavor that you have undertaken because your help is, uh, is noted. Uh, and um, I'm really looking forward to spread, um, you know, the beauty of, of this artworks through Italy um, with, uh, with your help uh, as well. Thank you very much. Uh, the pleasure is, is all mine. Very kind of you, very kind of you. Uh, I would like to introduce uh, our next uh, ambassador is Jacqueline Kirk from the uh, from United States, an accomplished uh, soprano. Uh, and um, uh, she's going to, you know, enchant us uh, with her voice. Are you going to sing for us or are you going to talk to us, <laughs> Jacqueline? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Colleen. You're so kind. I, I will talk this time. Okay. Maybe next time we'll, we'll arrange something. <laughs> <laughs> but but thank you so much. It's great to be here uh, amongst all of this, um, you and, and, and all of this talent here amongst all of you. I have a bit of a connection in the art world, having a mother that was an artist and an art teacher and exposed me to the arts very young. So that was always so wonderful. I feel that art depicts life and life depicts art. And this can be such a strong global force in our world in a very, very positive way now more than ever socioeconomically. I feel that there can be a force of change, forces of change for art through art as well as culturally, as well as educationally. I am not only a performing artist, but I'm also a teacher. And through art, through the performing arts, through fine arts, we can teach our youth and our future so much. And with this cultural exchange, that can happen even with a greater force. I believe in this concept. I believe in what Colleen is bringing to the world for this. And you know, I wanna learn more about Romania. I wanna learn more about the culture, about the society, about all of you as artists. I feel as if once we stop learning, we become dead. You know, we have to continue that throughout life. Um, I have a small part in this as far as representing part of the US, uh, mostly in the East Coast, New York City, New Jersey, a little bit of DC, a little bit of Florida, and a little bit of Hawaii where I have many experiences myself through, through music. Um, and, 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 and as far as this, this promotion, you know, as far as being a small part in future uh, online exhibits, uh, as well as live exhibits, as well as auctions, my family was a little bit, is a little bit in the jewelry business. Jewelry is also art you know, learning how to be able to exchange as well as sell our art, because you know what, we deserve uh, the monetary um, aspects of our art, as well as the creative aspects of our art. People have no idea how long it takes to be studying, to be doing this, to become it's a lifelong journey. And so that's so, so exciting. And I love, again, the cultural exchange of the fine arts with Romania, with, the, with, with other cultures as well, and as well as the aspects that we have for some of music and, um, and bringing Romania into, into the realm, into a bigger area. You know, my, my way of learning wasn't so much through math and science and reading. I was slice, slightly dyslexic. And God, thank you, my God, for the arts, for the art forms, because I learned so much visually and I learned so much kinesthetically through dance and I learned so much audio and if auto, you know, auditorially. And if I didn't have that as part of my life, I really don't know where I'd be. So I'm so excited to be part of this. I've had some art experiences through my music just by chance with Chihuly, uh, sculpture Chihuly glass, 
with a, a big sculpture, uh, um, sculpture artist uh, and painter, uh, Walter Villan in Brussels through by chance and with music. And they've been wonderful experiences. So I look through, I look for more of that to come in the future. And thank you. I'm excited. Here we go. Let's do it. Thank you very much, uh, Jacqueline. It, it is great and we love your enthusiasm and uh, I'm sure this would reflect in the way the, the, the beautiful artworks of the, this amazing Romanian artist would, uh, would possibly get into the, onto the walls of, uh, of uh, nice uh, American uh, you know, people. And um, because after all, um, our, our platform is also about helping these people to also sell their works if possible, because it is important for them to be rewarded for their uh, for their works. Otherwise, it's very difficult to to survive, especially nowadays when we all saw as soon as something happened in the world, um, you know, art is the first one that suffers. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, I would love now to. Um, to ask Ioana to put a, a little um, a little montage made by Dana Steinman. Uh, she is an art consultant living in uh, in London, in Britain, and uh, she cannot be uh, here with us today. But she left us a little message, which I would love Ioana to to put. Thank you. Western trends and styles have been received and assimilated along the European Eastern borders and the world has the chance to see the unique Latin values and voices in all their resol uh, resolute exuberance, how they have been transformed alongside centuries. And I cannot think of a more vibrant affirmation of the artistic ideal than the strength of our humanist in the rising above its accumulated scars. On the other side, the Romanian art scene in the UK has a long period of perseverance and special presence, including the activity of the Romanian Cultural Institute in London, of course, standing up for Romanian art with each cultural event, tailored to enhance the national art in the UK for decades. The natural art in conversation, coming from an artist and art professional perspective, can be that momentum for the many established or emerging artists and connection of Romanian culture with the UK's art scene. I'm happy to be the witness of the newborn and the fresh start. My warm salute and best wishes going to the initiator of this ambitious and generous art project. And I'm so looking forward to see it's growing and making a significant difference in the national cultural movement in the world. Welcome and good luck, Art in Conversation. Well, thank you very much, uh, Dana. And uh, I hope you could hear us. Uh, but anyway, thank you very much you, for your kind words. And uh, thank you, Joanna, for uh, rolling this. Um, as I mentioned earlier, an important part of our purpose is also to open Romania and uh, her opportunities to, um, to foreign artists, to British artists. I think we have here a special case that has been highlighted uh, brilliantly and splendidly by uh, Michael Desturgia, uh, a, a great, a great patron of arts and um, an amazing person that have done uh, wonders for the Romanian image, specifically with, uh, with his restoration uh, works in, in Romania. And um, he is here with us tonight and he will be um, speaking about his experiences with a couple of, uh, of British artists that visited Romania. And um, uh, he's gonna tell all about, uh, about that. Michael, you can have the, um... you wanna unmute the, um... yeah, thank you, Michael. Kalin, thank you very much for those uh, few words of welcome and um, hello to, to all of you. I think I am uh, one of the few people who, as you can tell from my accent, was not born or brought up in, uh, in Romania, although I probably visit Romania more than most of you. Until this wretched COVID came along, I went out there for a week um, every month and I absolutely love the country. 
and for me it's been a complete tragedy that I've not been able to get out there really for for um, for some while. Um, I think you've all spoken uh, about the importance of of art um, and also that art is truth but I think one word that hasn't been perhaps used in in all of this conversation which I feel very strongly about and that is the importance um, of beauty um, in today's world. Um, you may not share my views, but I'm very concerned at the moment about the extent of cultural wars that are going on with identity politics seeking to divide. And I think at the moment, it's absolutely critical that we celebrate our common humanity and we seek to uphold those things we share and which bind us together. So I endorse everything that you all instinctively feel and have said about the importance um, of art. Um, I met Kalin a couple of years ago for the first time in Winchester Cathedral when I went to the uh, premiere of his Hampshire Symphony, which was an absolutely extraordinary occasion. And we've become very good friends uh, since then. So I was absolutely delighted to participate when, when he asked me. Um, my family traditionally comes from um, Moldavia, um, but um, had to leave the country when communism um, took over, but I've managed to uh, get restoration of my, my family, uh, restitution, I should say, of my family, Connac, which I've been restoring for the last um, 12 years. Uh, it's located at Valen in uh, Zhudetsnyamts, and um, I am now planning to develop it as a centre for the arts in its widest sense, for artists and photographers, for poets and writers and for musicians and composers. Uh, eight years ago, I established an artist residency scheme at the property with a view to inviting artists to record the beauty of Romania, its landscape, its people and its way of life, especially at a time when modern agricultural methods backed by EU subsidies were threatening to sweep much away. I'll just give you a little anecdote about the impact of these subsidies. I wanted to buy a small tractor it was actually cheaper for me to buy a tractor in England and ship it to Romania than it was to buy it in Romania, which seemed to me a very strange, strange thing to happen. Anyway, so at first I did all this for my pleasure. After all, when I was restoring the Connacht, I had hectares of wall space uh, to fill, but I soon came to realize that Romania was casting its spell on the participating artists, photographers and printmakers. Uh, phrases such as, I have come to a veritable garden of Eden, were made by all without exception. And this is a fascinating point. I also became to understand that their presence and their artwork were not only helping Romanians to appreciate their own culture, but that the artists were becoming advocates and ambassadors for Romania in their own countries. And we've had so far artists mainly from the UK, but also from the USA and Nepal so far. So when Kalyan asked me and invited me to become an ambassador for this wonderful initiative, I was delighted to accept and suggested that it could perhaps be not just a showcase for the huge Romanian artistic talent, but also a showcase for foreign artists who had visited Romania and who had been inspired by its extraordinary beauty and cultural riches. And thus to square the circle of the celebration of truth and beauty and the arts across boundaries. And I think, Kalin, do you have just one or two photographs of- Yes, Ioana, can you be kind to, uh, to show that uh, PowerPoint? Yes, of course. Just a second. All right. Okay. <laughs> Can you say a few words, Michael, about... Yes, this is a very interesting English artist who's very uh, fascinated in the uh, whole of earth mysteries and archaeology. And he has become absolutely fascinated and is now studying deeply the Kukuten culture, which has inspired a lot of artwork. He was invited, um, not last year, the year before that, to exhibit at the Palatul Cultural in Yash. Um, which was uh, very successful. So I think that's a very good example of a British artist getting well established into, into uh, Romanian academic hierarchies. This is a, a lovely picture which he has done. And I think this is so interesting because 
he has identified that there are so many layers. Is it possible to get, yes, thank you. So many layers in the, in the landscape. So he symbolized that by, you will see here in the clouds, looking up as it were into the underside of the dome in a typical uh, Romanian uh, biserica. The stripes, the, the strips in the landscape. Then when we begin here, we get the wonderful decoration that you have in embroidery and that you have in, in barge boards on many of the buildings, and then going down deep into the, uh, the Kukuten culture, which has so many resonances um, in that part of Romania. Ne ne next picture. And these are just some of his, his, his chalk drawings, trying to, to, to draw out this, this spirit of place, which undeniably still resides in the landscape. This is a very interesting English uh, artist who did something different to many of the uh, artists who've been out. She was very focused on the people who live there. Um, this is Petrika, a wonderful chap who looks after my place. You can just see the Konak in the background in the bottom right hand picture, and he cuts the grass, etc. Um, next picture. You are now next picture, please. And we have on the right a wonderful picture of, of, of Paraskeva with her lunch and <laughs> Mamalia. This is the, uh, the church at Valen, and um, this is again one of, our, one of my neighbors, a wonderfully characterful um, face, beautiful, superb, interesting, lovely local people. Next picture. And this is um, probably the, the, the best known uh, artist who has um, visited. He is British, but he actually lives in, uh, in Germany near Dusseldorf. And these are some of his pictures. Those of you who are uh, particularly interested in the history of art, you will see that in the, if I can call it the center picture, it's all been built around the golden mean and the sense of, of proportion. And these are various landscape pictures that he has taken um, on what was our former estate. And top right can corner, it's part of, of the wonderful um, historic monument park that we have there, another picture of the church. And that's just a small snapshot of some of the work that's, that, that's, that, that's being created. And one of the things which I would like to try to do in the future is perhaps to have a, some sort of touring exhibition in, certainly in Moldavia, in Piatra uh, Niamps, perhaps Yash, of these works, again, perhaps in, in furtherance of the, the aims of Kalin's initiative. Well, thank you so much, Michael. It's, it's a privilege to, to witness, uh, you know, your, your kind of activity and what you do for, for us, for art, and also taken further what Romania can offer, especially that um, uh, perhaps for some of our um, foreign friends uh, Kukuten culture is one of the most ancient cultures uh, in the world and it's uh, it, it has a, a, an amazing uh, impact on on how intertwined and how interconnected our past uh, is and why not our future because uh, as Michael mentioned uh, um, the beauty and, uh, and he's absolutely right and I stand with him to, to name beauty as possibly, um, you know, saving the world as Dostoevsky was, uh, was saying at some point as well. But um, and I, I think art is uniting us and art creates connections. And uh, when it comes to connection, I would like to, um, to actually tell you a little bit about our further plan. We would like to, uh, to have a calendar uh, consisting of alternative launches, 17 to be more precise, and um, they will uh, be where Romania has uh, cultural institutes. And some of, uh, of those uh, capitals and amazing cities around the world are Paris, New York, uh, Istanbul, Tel Aviv, uh, Madrid, um, um, uh, Venice uh, in, in Italy, Beijing, and so on. 
Uh, and because um, our intention is to take this Olympic flame of Romanian art and artists uh, further and uh, give it to Paris, I would love to, uh, to ask, um, you know, Ioana to run uh, a little recording that was done by our ambassador, Petra Marian, in, uh, in Paris. And I hope that she would be the one to host this, um, our next uh, launch in Paris. Thank you. Hello to everyone. I'll tell you a little story. It was a time when Paris was the headquarters of writers, sculptors, musicians or painters coming here from around the world. Many artists were among them. They were loved, hated or worshipped for their talents. As Romanian art, has been a sensitive one, so charged in deep feelings, intuitive, also provocative. Throughout time, art is the real bond for humanity. Art depicts humanity's history in the purest form. Here, in Paris, it's all about art, art and history. The city knew exactly how to use this bond and attract great artists embedding beauty into its heart. Each day I walk through the city, I feel the vibrations of times long gone. We, Romanian artists, we carry deep inside us this, this bond. We have strong connections with nature, with our land, with our ancestors. Yet, I feel we are shy to make the case for the universality of our lyrical universe. So, let's take initiative and bring our artistic flame into the city of lights. Let's speak again this language. Let's shine again and lead the fire of creation in Paris. Once more, I think this crew of many artists Flying the flag of art in conversation would lay new stones to the temple of art. I'm Petra Marianne, an artist living in Paris and the ambassador for art in conversation in France. Thank you. A bientôt. Thank you very much, Petra. Thank you, Anna, for running this um, this uh, little movie. Wonderful, and uh, we all love Paris as well. Um, and um, I'm looking forward for this message to be taken further. Um, before I would uh, open the Q and A uh, uh, section, I would love to to say a couple of uh, of words about um, a few other intentions that we have with Art in Conversation to actually promote our artists. Uh, so first of all, we are talking about exhibitions. We are not um, just a, a virtual uh, platform. We are, but um, we uh, hope to be able to organize exhibitions for artists, real exhibitions um, with public and uh, EVTs. Um, we will do so uh, we are discussing with the, the Romanian Cultural Institute here in London. We will see what uh, it would be possible. And also, um, I wanted to uh, to say something which is important. Today in the morning, I was talking to Southampton City Council. Uh, Southampton is one of the largest uh, cities in the south of England, uh, obviously one of the largest ports. It is better known for the, um, the fatidic um, you know, last voyage of Titanic that left Southampton before sunk in, in Atlantic. And um, uh, Southampton is bidding for the City of Culture 2025 UK. And we have been asked by we, I mean us, uh, the Romanian Honorary Consulate and the Romanian community, we have been asked to be part of this um, endeavor, to be part of this, um, this trial to, uh, to get the, uh, the title of European culture. And this would mean exhibitions. So uh, we are planning at least two exhibitions this year. 
for our artists on Art of Conversation. And we will discuss with, um, with the representatives of the city because they want us to showcase the importance of Southampton being a, a, a global city. And also we want to, to show that bilateral cooperation, not only economical, but also cultural is so important. I, I, I would like just to mention, uh, to mention something, um, you know, for many years, I am um, part of my, my consular duty is to um, engage British companies in, um, in coming to Romania and investing in Romania. And um, we had um, a, a factory from, from Britain and have, they have opened another factory in Romania. And when I've asked the, uh, the patron of that factory, when I've asked the owner, what determined uh, him to actually choose Romania because other countries around Romania had uh, attractive offers as well. He turned to me and he said, for the culture, because I felt embraced by it. And this is so important for us to understand that we artists, we are diplomats, we are representing a country, we have a mission and our mission is not only intrinsic to the works of arts that we do, but they actually represent what Romania has to offer. And that's why it's so important that we showcase this. And that's why I'm so delighted to be amongst you and to have our friends and representatives and ambassadors. And I, I really hope that we will roll this over and will become bigger and bigger, and then perhaps showcase this to other communities and work together, possibly for um, a better world. Why not? So thank you very much again. Joanna, I think we can, um, we can ask um, questions or you know, if there are any, any thoughts that uh, could be revealed, uh, we are here to, um, to try to answer them. So please feel free to, uh, to share your thoughts or Joanna, how does it work? Would you unmute? unmute yeah, I'm, I'm asking everyone to unmute now. Yeah. Um, but I can't do it for them. They must do it themselves. Excellent. So, um, but this is art in conversation. So feel free to convert. Feel free to dialogue. So, you know, Dan, uh, uh, Dan, can you can you unmute your your microphone? Okay. okay. Dan, I, I wanted to. Uh, I, can I ask you a question, Dan? Yes, please. Um, I, I know of your recent um, engagement and appointments, uh, you know, promoting youth culture. And, uh, uh, you know, I think this is so fantastic that you do this. I hope that you are going to be very successful within your appointment. And uh, Siona, thank you for being with, uh, with us since the very beginning. Actually, um, uh, Siona asked, uh, asked me once she couldn't come to London to present her works of art in a gallery and she asked me to do it. And uh, my heart was so small at that moment because I didn't know anything and how to go to a gallery and talk about her arts with potential buyers. But I think um, I went there and uh, for my liking th that place was full of booze. Um, you know, and um, after a couple of glasses, I became a prolific seller. So it was, <laughs> I felt uh, in, in my element. So again, perhaps you need a, a little drink, you can have it and then ask questions. I, I thank you. I thank you for, for all uh, you've done uh, for mm -hmm. us and for this extraordinary project. And, uh, for this amazing theme, and uh, we all need art, we all need beauty, uh, light, uh, color, uh, and uh, I'm grateful for this project uh, and for all uh, you've done for us. <laughs> I haven't done anything. You have done everything. Uh, Ioana and I are just, uh, you know, thrilled to be at the receiving end of your creative, um, you know, minds, really. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I would I would just drop a single a single remark here, and I'm I'm so much in in um, you know grateful for for, for your, you know your patience with us and and your your desire to succeed and make you succeeding. And I am in resonance with with what Michael said. We are uh, the ambassadors of beauty in the world, and the beauty, my dear friends, is not just painting, sculpting, the beauty is what we, what happens to us artists when we perform. The beauty is resonance. The beauty is a frequency that will keep this world afloat despite all the wrongdoing of some of us, of some of them, actually. Well, thank you very much, uh, Dan. I think we all resonate with, uh, with that and... Uh... That is great to uh, to hear. And just just to to um, tag on what Dan said, to realize that we have such a power to be able to, when we are performing or having an art exhibit, to be able to then have that flow of whatever it is that affects the person seeing it or hearing it and that exchange of either emotion or they can go and escape from somewhere else um, in their own life and go into a place that's ethereal and beautiful. And, um, and just to kind of keep remembering that, that we are the vessels for that, you know, for all of that through this artwork. And uh, I think it's very important for everyone to, to uh, realize as well as the importance of that as well as to realize the benefits that people who don't do what we do, how we can affect them continually, continuously. You know, it's very strong. Yes. Indeed, indeed. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. And Michael, I, I need to say that I'm sharing your, your frustration not being able to go back to Romania. I haven't seen my family in a couple of years now. And, um, you know, I'm really looking forward to see whether or not there will be a corridor open between our two countries. Um, you know, I know that if you go there, you do not need to stay in quarantine. It's only coming back here, uh, which is problematic. Well, I, for me, the, the, the second worst thing is that my supply of Tsuika has run out. <laughs> so, uh, I have to I have to stick with Scotch whiskey. So uh Thank you very much. Thank you very much for, for being with us uh, actually. And um I, I do really hope that we would be able to roll this out. Um we are determined to engage not only artists but institutions. We are determined to um to do so much and to um uh, to actually break uh this shyness as Petra was mentioning in her lovely um, little uh, movie made in Paris and I, I hope we can um, we can uh, open up uh, the Romanian hearts and have the courage to showcase uh, ourselves in, in many ways. Aline, can I just say something? Yes, please, please, Marta. Yes, uh, I wanted to make a comment for, I know on the platform that you have at the moment around 40 artists. If there are any names from Romania who are watching us now, what would they be uh, required to do in order to be, to be featured um, on this platform? That's my first question. And um, secondly, I wanted to ask you, what would mean for you, what would represent for you and Ioana the success of this um, uh, initiative? Uh, Ioana, can I start and then perhaps you can, uh, you can yes, answer please. as well? Okay, so um, what, um, uh, first of all, uh, we just do not expect anyone to learn about us without us actually presenting ourselves to them. So uh, part of our initiative would be to engage with the union of plastic artists, with, um, with all the, uh, the cultural departments within county councils. So we will have lists of, uh, of artists. They will be curated by um, art curators in Romania and uh, historians. And um, 
there will be hopefully a list. There are about 30, 40,000 uh, plastic artists in Romania as we speak, but we cannot obviously, you know, have them all. But uh, what we are trying to do is to, um, to go through this list to uh, offer invitations. And what they have to do is just to get in touch with us. Ioana is sending them uh, an email and it's so easy because- to uh... Oh. Uh, can, can I ask everyone to mute yourself, please? Oh, yeah, again. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, it is. Um, it, it will be very easy for everyone that wants to participate. Um, we are trying to uh, introduce also a certain aesthetical discipline, um, because um, neither. I, I mean, I talk about myself. I am not a connoisseur. Um, I was lucky to be surrounded by the amazing people and uh, their uh, good works, but I like everyone, I like everything. So uh, perhaps uh, I'm not the best judge of whom to, uh, to ask to join us. I would love to have everyone, but I don't think this would be possible. But technically it's very easy. They just um, can send us a profile picture with um, uh, a little CV about themselves and also, um, you know, good uh, pixel uh, pictures of their paintings or artworks, sculptures, uh, whatever. And um, uh, they will be receiving correspondence from, uh, from Ioana. Um, in terms of what this represents for me, um, I don't think I am relevant in this question, although I really appreciate your, your question, uh, Magda, but I, I, I think uh, it's, it's not about me, not about Ioana. It's, it is about me in the sense that I would love to be able to show my roots. I would love to be able to show to the people where I'm coming from without being ashamed, being proud of it. Uh, so I think um, there is a, a, a subjective element, in, a, an interested in element to me, which is potentially to, uh, to make people around me um, applaud Romania and therefore create an environment where our uh, uh, Romanian community can integrate with dignity. Uh, and this is, uh, this is my interest uh, about this. But I will ask Ioana to ask uh, to answer for herself regarding um, what she thinks. Yeah, I think you, you said it perfectly. Um, yeah, it's it's about uh, showing um, to the whole world the beauty of Romanian Romania and the Romanian artist. And, uh, you know, um, as I, I was very fortunate that Michael has uh, actually Part of the uh, of our purpose to open Romania to artists to invite artists is because um, is after a discussion with Michael, because he mentioned it and I realized that he's absolutely right, because we need to be working in balance. This is a two way street. It's a dialogue. Therefore, a dialogue doesn't mean only promoting Romania to the world, but also inviting the world into Romania. And uh, as he um, managed to convince us, uh, you know, those people are living back and they are sharing and carrying with them an important message of what Romania is. And thank you, Michael, again. Thank you for actually um, giving us this opportunity. Your Excellency, I wanted to add. Um, it's Kalin. It's Kalin. 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 Cheers, Kalin. Yeah. I wanted to add a few notes because Please. you're a very famous composer, and I wanted to uh, share a little, um, just a little um, history fact that I learned from my father, um, Soviet composer Josef Andreasian. Uh, he was a student of Golubev in the same class with Alfred Schnitke. Um, they were. Um, it's a tradition from Tchaikovsky, uh, Taniev, Niskovsky, Kolobev, Schnitke, and then my father, Andrea Sam. Um, he was friends with Sir Yevodin Menu Menuhin, and is uh, just a reminder for the British people that 
uh, Menuhin was the student, student of George Enescu, one of the greatest Romanian composers. So if it, if it weren't for Enescu, nobody would even know who Menuhin is. He recognized his talent and he presented him to the world. And that is, uh, there's so much cultural interaction um, uh, that people are not aware of, but you and I as musicians, I'm a graduate of the Juilliard School. Um, and my, my father, my, my father, my mother, my aunt and my uncle were all graduates of Moscow State, Chikovsky Conservatory and Moscow State, Lomonosov University. There, my mother is also a biochemist on top of being a military conductor. So um, we forget sometimes that of once again about how shy Romanian people are. The shyness actually cannot only be overcome by us who are not Romanian. I am Georgian Armenian and a Russian. Uh, by Georgian Armenian Russian woman married to the Vatican artist Guillermo Esparza who represents the Vatican, um, who the Romanians are. And you living in the United Kingdom with the greatest violinist, Yervati Menelin, who was presented to the world by the greatest Romanian composer, George Nesco, whose, uh, whose traditions you represent. That's all. Don't okay. forget. No, no, we can never forget this. And thank you very much for actually your intervention because shows again that um, uh, you know our our future uh, is based on the strong foundation that was built by amazing people uh, before us so yes. thank you very much and i truly i truly hope that we can take this further so we can unite both the past and the future through the present thank you well um if there are no other questions, perhaps Joanna, we can um, we can thank everyone for for participating. Yes. And um, what what else can I say? Uh, it's been a privilege, uh, and uh, I truly I truly hope. Uh, by the way, Nora, I like very much your. What is this? Is this a? Uh, what do you have around your neck? It's an Indian uh, from Tibet. Um, Jory. Okay, that's very nice. <laughs> uh, so again, thank you very much for being with us. And thank you for encouraging us to go forward. And um, I hope we all can take further the, the words and the images um, that uh, Romania creates. And, um, uh, you know, um, for everyone, they can look at art in conversation. And this would become uh, a place for dialogue. We are going to do so much more on it. And uh, I hope you would be on it and um, you will be so vibrant and, uh, and active. And thank you. Thank you very much again for everyone being here. And everyone that thank listened. You, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you and Thank have you. a nice evening. Thank you, Colleen. Bye -bye. Thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.